Okay, so hello, welcome back everyone. Today I'm Kevin from Kevin from C and what I have right here is a few lenses for phones, not for mirrorless cameras. And today I shall be making a new lens for this thing. So I supposed to do this thing for the Fuji X mount, but the thing is that the body caps on those cameras are really expensive, so I'm gonna use the Sony one because I have like tons of body caps. I have like this, that body cap right there, and other ones. So what I'm gonna do now is Essentially, find a way to mount this thing onto this and get infinity. I've measured this thing and it has a flange distance of about 18 mil. This lens, so in theory, this thing is exactly the same as the flange of the E mount. So, I should mount this like the rear bit of this thing, the rear flange right here, flat with the E mount to get infinity focus. And, promise, but the caps have like hollowness, so. I'm gonna have to put a small plate down here. Then for the focusing, I I'm thinking about this. So these are like the clips you get for the phone mounts. I happen to have like some of these lenses lying around at home. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna I think cut this thing off. After I cut this bit off, I'm gonna go screw this lens in. Then I'm gonna make a hole in this body cap, and then we shall return and see what's gonna happen next. Which equals to like constructing the plastic bit. And then screwing it on this bit. So yeah, um, let's continue in. Okay, so now we're on the second stage, which is putting everything together and setting the infinity focus. So now I have this, which is the hole in the center of the body cap, and then we have this, which is the the clip clip for this thing that I've just taken off. This thing, why the heck did I screw this thing in? Let me go unscrew it. So, this is the lens I want to use. So, this screws onto this. Let me go screw it on. I can actually put this thing like a stem because my case actually has a stem back. See, okay, nice. So, this now I can screw in just like this. And now this will go in this. Then I'm gonna find how it goes in. I should put a notch in this thing so it actually goes only one way. So it doesn't like spin when you turn it around. And after you do that, you wanna test infinity. So there you go, I've got it in. What the heck is it pop out? Supposed to push it in like this, then it's supposed to stay just like that. I know you're gonna see like there's like a ton of like leakage, but this is just because of the fact that this is not a final version of this because I still have to set the infinity focus before every before anything else. So let me go and push this thing a bit more. Now it's stuck, it won't come out. So let me go and <coughs> mount it on the camera. Let's turn the A7S on. And now I do have an image. This is in APS-C mode, so let me go and see how I can actually focus this thing. This is a bit macro, I'd say. I think it is a bit macro, let's see. So this is mostly in focus. It's about here where it focuses. So what you want to do is essentially is you want to push this thing a bit closer to the sensor which means I think flipping the the thing inside out so let me go push this lens out again and let's mount it backwards so I'm gonna mount it like red bit inside now push it in till it sticks it's like a little bit of rubbish Cool. And now let's mount this thing on the body again. So now this is how it looks. This is 
how it looks and here we go put this from this time again and let me go show you so turn your screen on you get this view which is a bit better than just now but not perfect but i'd say this is like a really cool toy look and to be honest you can like seal the sides off or you can also choose to like, just do this for me i seal the sides off after this so yeah that's an awesome video from by me thank you everyone for watching hope you liked it and see you next time bye